Hey guys, it's Sega Camp, and we're finally going to be doing the Realm of the Heavens. <laughs> it might be best to say that say this right now, but the moment I'm actually recording this right now is 5.30 in the morning. Yeah, I am not making this up. It's actually 5.30 in the morning. I know what you guys are thinking. Sega Camp, how are you up that early in the morning, bud? Well, apparently I couldn't sleep at all last night whatsoever, so... I figured, oh well, might as well make the best of it. So I'm actually gonna record all the clips of it and this, um, uh, just as morning arrives, and then hopefully a little later in the day I'll finally get them published in Windows Movie Maker and then get them on YouTube. But probably once they're on YouTube, once I get them up on YouTube, I'm probably gonna be going back to sleep because, like I said, this is I never did get any sleep at all last night. And I know right away I'm going to be having like a real big afternoon nap until probably the evening. Anyway, let's continue on with the walkthrough. Very sorry about the walkthrough for when I did, uh... Very sorry about the walkthrough for, uh, for Tower of Winds and the Ice Temple. I'd end up making a little warning to... To everyone uh, when they were seeing uh, to when they were seeing uh, the Ice Temple about the Game Boy screen. Uh, hang on. Damn, it's already been like yesterday now since I posted that. <laughs> Strangely enough, since I never got any sleep at all last night, it still feels like it's today that I've been posting this walkthrough, and I'm just recording more of it as I go along. Yeah. Uh, now nah, it's been yesterday. I I just face facts now. Yesterday's gone. It's just in the past now. Oh, the other soldiers are actually trapped in the shadow world. Yeah, and the weird little dark vortexes you see, those those won't take you to the dark world either, so don't be about thinking, oh, okay, I could just go I could just jump ahead to the dark world just by going through this dark vortex. No. We'll see what's in them eventually though, but Get the four gems first. Oh, yeah, yeah, you see, there's there's the portal right there. You get to show the dream, dream, dream. Never mind. There. I know, just for the Game Boy screens. Holy crap! Well, at least then now we finally get a get a remixed version of the original uh, Dark World and Mountain theme. Actually, I think I better turn the contrast down. Like, you can barely see the clouds, and my you can barely see Link. Again, I apologize. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Before, when we came in, when we went in the other hole, there were just two crystal switches here. But as you see now, 
They're actually replaced now for treasure chests. This one has a heart container. And this one just has a purple rupee worth 50. I mean, a purple force gem. Yeah, I've been playing too many Legend of Zelda games. I always keep on getting them confused for... I always keep getting them confused for rupees like the other Zelda games, you know? Although it's kind of an ass as well that they kept that they have to keep changing the colors and and the currency as well. Like like take them on Majora's Mask for example. In Majora's Mask, a silver rupee is worth a hundred rupees. Okay. Now go now after you finally notice that in Majora's Mask, switch over to Twilight Princess, and you'll notice that silver gems are still I mean silver rupees are still in the game. Okay. But now the silver rupees are worth 200. Yeah, you can actually tell now. And and now the only and now the, but now the silver rupees. Uh, but now you're all wondering if the well silver rupees are worth 200 rupees and what kind of rupees are worth 100. Well, now they're orange rupees. They've been like that ever since the Wind Waker. Yeah, so there you go. There's a there's a little history lesson for you. They keep they just keep changing some of the rupees around. Basically not the basic ones like green, blue, red, purple, you know, 1, 5, 20, 50. Hey, they still kept them the same when they made this game as well, which is kind of weird. Alright. Ooh! Gotta get the force gems. Now, as you're well aware, just like before, activating the other crystal switch makes something bad happen. Oh! That's actually not bad at all. Remember, uh... Remember when we were going up um, uh, when we were going through Frozen Hyrule? Nice! Got a hundred you got a big blue rupee now worth 150. Oh, I get it. You have to go in cross formation. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, but these guys are not hard. Am I not? You can kill them either way, but as well though, if you drag them right up to the ledge, they they will fall off the they'll fall off the edge and then die. Except for the big guy though, who you still have to get around to get to and attack its rear. Yeah, yesterday when I was doing the walkthrough, I definitely wasn't thinking straight, so... So, if you were watching the walkthrough yesterday, and noticing that I was, uh, being a bit of a... Bit of... I was actually in a bit of a mellow state doing the walkthrough... That was because I was in a... I was just in a bit of a mellow state that day, so... Alright. I can just tell this is going to be one long level. But yeah, most likely the, the realm of the heaven, most likely the, the three realm of the heaven levels are going to be pretty, pretty long. I guarantee you that. Oh, that's weird. I thought that was a bottomless pit right there, but nope. Whoops! Huh. That was my fault there. I'm sorry, Link. Yeah, I should keep it like that. Oh, I can't kill these things now. 
Remember, remember the desert palace? The only way to kill those things is with the bow. <coughs> oh, this guy isn't, doesn't seem much of a threat. Ah, there we go. Be surprised, though. The levels are going to be pretty long, so we're going to be getting, like, over, like, probably more than, like, 4,000 to, to 7,000 a level. That's how big these levels are going to be. Ah! Yeah, you can actually stop the wind just by hitting the crystal switches. Oh, the magic cannon. Oh yeah, we're definitely going to need the magic hammer for the next place we go. Whoops. Whoa! Look at all the piles! This one little section doesn't screw around. There's those things again. You remember before, you know the drill, just gotta go in law information, wait for them to fly across, and boom! No! There goes my big, there, there goes my big force gem! Oh well, it's okay, it doesn't matter, I have the sword powered up anyway. I know, I should have made a different title for this move. I know I should have done some a different title now since I was going against Vaddy because this is the big fight. Like yeah, once I'm uh, once we get to the de once we get to the palace of where Vaddy lurks, we'll finally um, uh, have a we'll finally go fight him. Okay, a few of these soldiers. Yeah, I think you're supposed to kill them anyway to advance to the next level. Yeah, yeah, you see? Now we just have to wait for the platform to get across and then continue our way over there. Huh. Yeah. I can see the pictures okay, Emma, uh, Emma, while looking at the footage. Yeah, I can still see the footage, Emma, uh, right over the... 
right on the computer monitor, and I see it looks about pretty good on there. But when I see it on here, though, it's pretty dark. There we go, we got a cross. It's like this, so this section right here, though, in case you're wondering what you have to do, you have to get the certain color links to walk across a certain path, and you better do it really quick because the password will will switch as you see it. As you see here, it just keeps changing as well. Alright, just waiting now, just waiting. <clears throat> ah! I gotta wait for purple to appear on here. Probably wonder what happened. Well, after activating all those four switches, the Pegasus boots appears there in the center. That's actually a good item to get because you're gonna see why in the next section we go to. Ah, oh, I almost made it. And there's a force fair at the end, too. Well, there we go. We got a cross. We made it. Yeah, strangely enough now, you have to activate all the four switches by making the certain link stand on there. You know what? I'll do the... There'll be more of the... More of this level on, uh... In the second part, so for now, don't forget to see the next part. Take care.